Hello dear friends hope you all are doing fine myself dr tripti malika hoja in this video i will tell you how to prepare for the entrance exam in just 15 days now that last 15 days are left for the entrance exam so you might be feeling a bit tensed and panic for the exam forget it and watch this video till end so that you can prepare well in the less time first of all stay positive the first mantra is to stay positive there is no need to panic at all being tensed will only worsen your preparation so there is no need to worry just believe in yourself you have faced many such exams in the past and this is just like the others so if there is less time and there is less time for sure but still it is sufficient enough if you want to do it and you have to do it because now there is no choice so better just do it properly with a good action plan prepare a timetable for yourself and this timetable should be prepared by you it should be according to you don't copycat your friends because every student is unique your friend could manage to sleep only for 4 to 5 hours and still he feels energized but your body requirement is different it may be different so you don't deprive yourself of a good sleep have a good sleep relax you have to feel relaxed but watch your sleep hours this should be optimum and you have to decide it for yourself make sure that you don't waste any time now there is no time left to hang here and there you don't have any time to chat with friends relatives these matters these can wait till your exam be consistent in your preparation the schedule which you have planned for yourself so you have to be consistent this should not be like this that one day you are studying 20 hours and the other two days you are studying not at all so this will break your continuity and the key is that revise revise and revise revise as much as you can the exam pattern you have to study carefully if you still have not gone through the exam pattern then visit the site see the notification in this exam there are two parts the part a and the part b so there are two parts in the part a it is the general part it consists of language comprehension the english language verbal ability general awareness also mathematical quantitative ability analytical skills which comprises of 25 multiple choice questions then the part b is checking your domain knowledge and it consists of the 75 multiple choice questions so now build a strategy for yourself you should think how you can prepare in this less time so time is less but you can prepare properly so you have to follow a strategy for yourself the part a is of the general part in which there are 25 questions each question carry four marks so total marks part a is of 100 part b consists of 75 questions the one question is of uh, four marks so total marks here is 
300. Now you have to see that though the part A is having the lesser weightage but still it is important for you. But you cannot prepare for this part A in just 15 days. And you are already having a good knowledge of the mathematics, the English and you are listening to news. So you are having a good GK also. So you are having a basic understanding of all these subjects. You have been studying these from the school level and the courses they are not very much typical. So uh, you have no time to pay more to this part A. You can't prepare for part A. You can't spare much time for it. And remember one thing that there is also a negative marking. For every incorrect answer, you will lose one mark. So attempt the part A carefully. Just don't make any wide guesses. So you have to mark it carefully. And this part B, it is your domain subject. So you are having a good knowledge in yourself. Believe in yourself. You should be confident enough that most of the topics which are in the part B, these you have already studied when you have done your undergraduate course. So you should be confident, but still you have to be careful. Now, what you can do, you take out the syllabus and divide the syllabus, the domain subject in the three parts. You can divide it into the three parts, the part one, the best, the part two, the good, and the part three, not covered at all by you. The part one, the topics which are the best topics. You are very confident that I have read these topics very properly. I am having a good command in these topics. So these topics, they can be according to an individual. Okay. So first of all, you have taken out your syllabus. Uh, take a printout of your syllabus and stick it on your study table. Then take out one highlighter and now highlight those portions which you have done very properly. So you can highlight the portions which you have done very properly. So uh, I'm just highlighting in this manner. Suppose you know chromatin structure, you know techniques properly. You are a good student of biochemistry. So all the biochemistry, you are knowing it in a very good manner. You're confident of your biochemistry. You are a student of microbiology. So you are having a good command over the microbiology. So you can highlight this portion also. And when you're highlighting, then make sure that you're highlighting only that portion in which you're pretty confident that I will be able to answer most of the questions if the questions come from these subjects. So this can be your uh, any percentage. It can be, I'm just highlighting it for one example. So it can be according to your preparation that it can be 40%, it can be the 60%, 70%. So it will vary from individual to individual. The This portion, you know it yourself that how much portion you are confident of yourself. So it depends upon uh, that this portion you're confident. So you, you should feel confident. And now you can allot some days. Say you can give it three days or you can give it four days, maximum five days for preparing this part. So this was the part which you were knowing the best. You are having the good command on this. So next coming to the part two. Part two is the good portion. So this is that part you know, but you are not very sure. So still there is scope of some doubts. There can be some problems. So there can be some problems in this part.
part B, there could be some doubts. Now, you have to take out your own notes, the notes which you have prepared during the previous preparation, during the undergraduate course, or you should be having some short notes. These can again help you out. So complete this, the part two in two to three days. So previously you have given the five days, four days or three days, or then the part two you have to cover in two to three days. Now third portion. So third portion is that portion which you have not touched yet because of any reason. It can be X, Y, Z reason. So you might not have studied it at any time. Now there is no much time left. So you cannot study this part. So don't feel panicked. The situation is same with everyone. So there can be some portions, suppose you are a student of microbiology. So you have not studied the animal sciences. So you can leave this part, but don't just leave it. You can solve some MCQs for this. You can see some previous year questions if these are easily available. Otherwise, don't worry about this part much because now there is not much time. Still, you can give one or two days for this third portion. And now you have got last two days. From the 15 days, now you have come finally to the last two days. So what should be strategy for the last two days? Okay, so the strategy for the last two days what should you do and what you should not do. So follow your movements, whatever you are doing, do it with a good belief, with good confidence, manage your time. You can see the previous year questions, you can take the breaks in between and do one or two mock tests definitely, not more than that. So that you get to know the pattern and you can manage your time, okay? So it is better if you can do this mock test. And what you should not do, you should not panic. Don't waste any time, now there is no more time. And don't study at long stretches. it. Don't make a long study. So this is the do's and don'ts. Then one more don't is that at this time in the last 15 days, don't purchase any fresh books for yourself. No textbook you have to get from the market, from online or from your friends, from your seniors. No fresh book you need not to take. And there are a lot of course materials which are being sold these days. Don't purchase any course material now. They may not be only of any help, but they may deteriorate the situation now. So this will not help you, but it may demotivate you. You can't start anything new now. So the key mantra now is that you have to work hard. There is no escape of working hard. And you have to have a positive attitude. So stay positive. This is what is going to help you at the last moment. So wishing you all the best for your exams. Good luck. Bye and take care.